بوسه بوسه الحمد لله على السلامة الحمد لله على السلامة أوه ماي جودنس تكبير الله حبيب قلبي والله coming home a reality. If it wasn't for the immediate international media publicity that uh, Tariq received, you may still be in jail today. So we want to thank you for making Tariq's homecoming possible and reality for us. We're extremely relieved. I want to welcome Tariq's mother, the true warrior behind all this, Suha Khadir, to say a few words. I want to thank you all for being here to welcome us home today. Step up to the mic. I'm sorry. Perfect. Thank you. I'm so happy to be back. So happy to have been watching my nightmare for my whole family. On July 2nd, my nephew, Muhammad, just 16 years old, with his whole life ahead of him, was brutally murdered by a group of Israeli extremists. The very next day, my son Tarek was beaten unconscious by Israeli police while handcuffed and lying on the floor. I cannot begin to describe to you the pain I felt when I looked at his face for the first time after that beating. I know that all the mothers and fathers out there, including the parents of the three Israeli teenagers who were tragically killed, understand this kind of pain. They felt it when they saw the photos of his swollen, bruised face. They felt it when they watched the video of his lifeless body being beaten. When I realized what had happened to Tariq, I feared for his life. But I wasn't even allowed to see him at first. And I couldn't bring him home and comfort him in my arms like I so wanted, so badly wanted to. To my shock, to my horror, after nearly losing his life, the Israeli authorities decided to detain my son for absolutely no reason at all. This boy who was nearly killed had to appear in a courtroom, not the men who beat him, until he blacked out. Tariq was released from court and put under house arrest. As outraged as I was by this, I knew that he actually got lucky 
compared to a lot of Palestinian kids. Because what happened to my thotic is not uncommon. It wasn't a fluke. In this instance, the Israeli police happened to unknowingly beat an American citizen. And on top of that, it was caught on camera. I want to say to my fellow Americans that I am so grateful for the outpouring of love for Thotic. We simply cannot have gotten through the past few weeks without the support of the Tampa community and the U.S. journalists who stayed with Thotic's story. I hope you will not forget what happened to my son, and I hope you will also remember that my nephew, Muhammad, who does not have an American citizenship, is dead. 36 children in Gaza and County are dead, and by tomorrow, who knows what the number will be. Each one is as precious as Tariq. Each one leaves behind a grieving mother and father, a hole in a family that cannot be filled. Who will stand up for these nameless Palestinian children? This is what I want to know. Thank you. Thank you so much. Next, we have the man of the hour, Tariq Kadir.